Welcome to Expedition Astro, and I'm looking at getting an upgrade today, and I don't know if I should buy it. I just don't know. Now, let me turn the TV down. I'm watching the Daily Woo. But anyway, um, this is the Delta Wing XTR 143-270. And what that is, it's like a... You've probably seen them on other, like, Jeeps and stuff like that. But it's like, I call it the bat wing. Kind of swings all the way around. Gives you complete coverage over your vehicle. Or on the side of your vehicle and in the back. So you basically have nothing but, you have a huge shelter. And if you want to buy the, um, uh, the surround to it, it basically gives you a tent right next to the side, right beside your vehicle. So... I'm looking at buying this shelter or this uh, awning. It's the Delta Wing XTR 143, 270 degree freestanding. I'm, I'm reading it as I'm talking to you, freestanding. And let me show you what it is. Now the Delta Wing XTR 143, 270, as you can see, it's a complete surround on the side and the rear, not complete, but from the side and the rear of the vehicle. Now I'm gonna use this on my passenger side and it's gonna give me a lot of shelter when I'm actually camping out in the desert or even in Florida or you know where it rains a lot and stuff like that and I can actually still be outside. Now if you see my, my van where I have uh, my awning and my uh, canopy or canopy and awning and all that stuff uh, sitting around the van and whatnot, but I want to get a little bit better, a little bit more. Uh, this is going to be an upgrade to the van. Uh, it's by Iron Man 4x4. I purchased my bags from them for extra gear to put on my roof rack. And uh, love it. The equipment is really nice. And it lasts and it, it handles weather and also the wind when it's, you're driving through. You know, you're driving through. So let me know what you think. I'm going to buy it. I said I'm, you know, asking your advice on this product, but I bought products from Iron Man 4x4 before, and I'm nothing but great products. This is normally not for an Astro van, but I'm going to put it on there anyway. Uh, it's for Jeeps and trucks and stuff like that, but in my case, I have an Astro van. I'm going to put it on the side of it. Once I get it, I will do a video of me installing it, and then I also will do, you know, show you what it looks like i'm gonna take my van out here soon it's gonna i'm working on it right now i'm down right now because i'm trying to uh get that front end back but uh um uh, what i'm gonna do is get my awning get that on there and then i gotta start painting the inside i haven't done that yet the uh the other day i was working on my solar panels and my wiring coming into the van actually going into the solar charge controller because it, it was kind of ghetto I just had the wires hanging there. I just kind of wanted to clean that up. I still got a lot of work to do to the van, but it's coming along great. I love it. I've been traveling in it, not finished, but I'm about to go into the finish mode. I know a lot of people, they, you know, they're building their vans or their vehicles and stuff like that, and they like to get them done, you know, and then go out. I got the TV going, but uh, um, I plan on getting this thing you know, back on the road here soon. The spring is going to be coming up here in a few months. I want to be on the road. I'm heading west, uh, trying to get uh, out to Arizona, Utah, stuff like that. I want to see the Slab City and all those places also. And I want to get up in those uh, U Utah mountain ranges and stuff like that. My van is not four-wheel drive, but I, pl I don't plan on doing no mudding. If you know what I mean. I'm going to try to find trails and roads. There's got to be something for me to go out there in the, middle of the, in the middle of the wild out there. So thanks for watching the video. Like, subscribe, hit that bell, get notifications. And we'll see you next time on Expedition Astro.